This is Jake Devonport with Van Dyke Software introducing Secure CRT Connection Sessions. This four-part series shows how to establish connections and efficiently create and manage saved sessions. A session is a collection of configuration settings that allows a connection to be established to another machine. Session settings control behavior such as terminal emulation, screen size, color, font, and so on. There are two session types, ad hoc and saved. Ad hoc connections are established with the Quick Connect dialog. Only certain properties of an ad hoc session can be configured before the connection is established, and once SecureCRT is closed, those properties are not available for further reuse. Saved session connections are established with the Connect dialog. Multiple sessions can be saved so that connection settings are readily available for making connections to machines you use a lot. A fresh installation of SecureCRT displays the Quick Connect dialog for establishing connections. The Quick Connect dialog can manually be displayed from the File menu or by pressing the Quick Connect button. To establish a connection, you set the protocol and provide a host name, IP address, or COM port depending on the protocol you chose. Before connecting, you can have SecureCRT save the session for later use. Sessions saved for later use will be listed in the Connect dialog with a name based on the information you entered. If you use the Quick Connect dialog to make ad hoc connections to the same machine that are saved over and over, duplicate sessions will be created for the same host. This is not always desired, so it's better to use the Connect dialog to establish repeated connections to the same machine. If there are saved sessions available, SecureCRT automatically displays the Connect dialog at startup. You can choose to display either dialog at startup by setting the option in your preferred dialog. The Connect dialog can be opened from the File menu or by pressing one of the corresponding toolbar buttons. Double-click an existing session to establish a connection using that session's configuration settings. To create a new saved session within the Connect dialog, press the New Session button or right-click and choose New Session. A wizard prompts you for information about the new session. If you prefer, you can bypass the wizard and work directly in the Session Options dialog. If you don't see a saved session for the host you need, the Quick Connect dialog can be shown from within the Connect dialog as a speedy way to create a session with default settings. SecureCRT supports the use of command line options to initiate a connection using ad hoc info or saved sessions. Here's an example of starting SecureCRT with an ad hoc connection to myhost.net using the SSH2 protocol. If you have an existing session named Remote Server, use the slash s command line option to make a connection with that session's information. SecureCRT's built-in help explains the possibilities along with the proper syntax to use for each option. Many of the options available on the command line can also be used in SecureCRT's connect bar. An ad hoc connection using default settings only requires the host name or IP address. To connect with a saved session, type slash s, a space, and the session name, then press enter. The next video in this series will explain where default settings come from for new and ad hoc connection sessions.